Now, on to today's market movers with easy to follow futures and options trades from CME Group. Welcome to Market Movers, I'm Jim Urio, and we are coming up on a key stretch of economic data that's going to culminate with the GDP on May 30th. Now rates have been moving higher, which has been a very serious headwind for gold prices. Today we're looking at using CME gold options to hedge risk or create exposure to coming headlines. Joining me is Chief Investment Officer of Kings U Asset Management. Scott Martin. Hi, Jim. Scott, so rates have been going up because of the perception that the data is strong, correct? And there's going to be a part two to this question, is rates going up is what pushing gold down. But stick on number one first. It, it, definitely the data. And also the fact that I think the Fed's path is pretty laid out at this point. So the market seems like as far as the bonds go, ZN especially, want to get ahead of some of the more Fed hikes that are coming later this year. So to me, that's also been a preemptive but, move. But these guys were saying, oh, the data is starting to soft, uh, get softer. I don't see it. And earnings were blockbuster. That's why the Fed's on the path, right? Absolutely. Earnings are great. Uh, yeah. The data's been back and forth. I mean, pick your favorite data point. You could probably find some weakness in there, but hey, that's what makes a market, but we're seeing interest rates react. Okay, gold has been pummeled. Is that just a function of rates in that gold doesn't yield anything? Is that what you think or no? That's one thing, and also the dollar. The dollar, about the too, dollar of course, right. been screaming ahead, and that obviously puts pressure on gold. And, you know, given that the political lim climate has calmed down maybe a little bit, right, that's right. taking I'll some of the risk I'll even throw in maybe below 1300 particularly in the June contract, was a little bit of a psychological uh, move as well, technical break. Now, before we dive into our trade discussions, I'd like to point out, as with all market movers, it's important to view these trades as examples that allow you to see different ways to use futures and options products to either manage risk or create additional trade opportunities, not as recommendations or advice. Price and movements will vary in the markets. The underline right now is the August contract was trading at about 1300 even. Scott. Well, you talked about the sell-off in gold, especially this week, Jim. And to me, that broke some serious support levels, too, that I was watching very closely. So specifically today, Jim, I'm buying the week two June gold 1260, 1240 put spread. This is going to cost you about one tick to put on. It expires on June 8th, as you mentioned. The underline is about 1300. It'll cost you $100 to put this on to make a potential 1900. Because if you look at the charts, and given the breakdown that we've seen in GC this week. Gosh, it looks like it could almost trade down to some of those lows that we saw, say, a few right. weeks back, given how it rallied all the way up into where it did to sell off. When you make a trade that's a 1 to 19, you expect to lose money, right? But you but you also think the risk-reward favors you, it, right? It favors you, and this is one of those trades where if it does go if in your does, favor for you a little make while, a lot of you, money. Can take some, you can take some position off, too, because it's, it's not exactly like it has to fill out completely, but this is one you can put on for relatively cheaply and book some profits. I like that trade. I like particularly that it costs one tick. Now, I'm looking at something that's very similar. I'm looking at buying the week two June gold, the 1280, 1260 put spread for 3.3 ticks. Now that's just, just 20 ticks higher than yours. So the market's telling us it's more, more likely to happen, but the risk reward is not as slanted. It expires on June 8th as well. 1300 is the underlying. It risks 330 to make a potential 1670. Thoughts? Good expression, closer. Yeah. So you have to outlay a little bit more capital there. But to me, that's, that's exactly kind of the right way to be as far right. as how if you're looking at the gold pressure so far, we've got this summit that's coming up with North Korea in a little less than a month. It looks like it's going to happen. So maybe more geopolitical tensions based so therefore, to me, gold right. looks like a little bit I, of a I tough I like call the here. two expressions of it, too, because you can see how options are priced. If it's more likely to happen, it's closer to the market, it's going to be more expensive. A little further away, it's less expensive, but bigger reward if it happens. Absolutely. And with some of those that are further away, just manage the price exp expression. You Amen. know, with respect to how you're looking at maybe making a profit, booking some profits along the way, if it goes your way, that's the way to take it off. Got it, got it. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we're helping to make you a better trader. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.